children. Today I am going to continue arithmetic progression. So already I started uh, 1 point 3 exercise third made. One sum more. Second sum I am going to continue. The second sum question is that is second one. 1.3 exercise third and second one given a is equal to 7 and 13th term value we give 35 find b and find b and yes the team sum of the team terms so we have to find out D and 30th term sum. Given A value we gave nth term is given 13th term value value. So I can use the formula AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. This formula I can use it and I can find out the value of D by substituting that is nothing but A 13 in this is A value is 7. N value I control by seeing this one 13 N. D value of 30. 30th value I know I can substitute here. This 7 will take this side. Then we will become 30 minus 1 is 20. So 35 minus 7 is equal to 20. 35 minus 7 means 28 is equal to 20. D is equal to 28 divided by 12. So then we will divide in which table it goes? 2 6 za, 2 1 za, 2 4 za, 2 3 za, 2 7 za. So I got the value of D. They told for us to find out the value of D. D value I got it 7 by 3. After finding the value of D, I can find the sum of the 10 terms because I know last term that is yes, n. Which formula I can use it? n by 2 a value I know. A plus A N R L yes, last term. A N R last term. I can use this formula and I can find the sum of 13 terms. That is sum of 13 terms. N value is 13. 13 by 2. A value 7. A N is nothing but A 13. That is 35. So substitute it simply by 13 by 2 into 35 plus 7. 37, 42. So, if I divide 2 ones are, 2 2 ones are, 2 ones are, then 13 ones are, 13. 1 into 10, 13 2 are, 26 plus 1 is 27. So, the sum of 13 terms, I got it, 278. You observe properly now. So, in this, they gave A value, 13 term value, and they asked us to find out the D value. And yes, 13 value. So to find out D value, I can use the formula A n is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. The given value I can substitute and I can simplify. I will get the value of D. After finding the value of D, I can substitute sum of A terms of the same I will find out that is yes, 13 I will find out means. So N by 2 into A plus A n I can use the formula because I know first term and the last term. So I can use and I can substitute and I can find out the value. Answer sum of the big terms I got it 273 and D value I got it 73. Can I explain also in you? So this is the second question. Given A value is 7. A value is given but first term is equal to 7. 13th term of the CP is 35. Find D and sum of the big terms. So when we know A value or 13th term, I can find out D by using the formula A n is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Because I know this value, A value, N value, only one variable value I don't know. I can substitute and I can find out the value of D. So I got the value of D as 7 value. After finding the value of D, I can find the sum of 13 terms. When we know first term of the last term, Is equal to how much? 
37 and d value will give 3 and find a find a they told for us to find a is first and they told for us to find out s well sum of all terms they told for us to find out so i have to find out here yes, also a value i have to find out means the same formula when i know for the term and the d value i can find out a value by using the formula a is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so a is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so that is a and n values were also twelfth term a value we know the way to find out n value i come to know that is 12 minus 1 d 3 so substitute and simplify now twelfth term value is 37 a plus 11 into 3 11 3 is a 33 so this is equal to a plus 11 3 is a 33 37 minus 33 is equal to a 13, 37 is to subtract 33, 4 you have to So the value of A I put it as 4. After getting the value of A, I can find out the sum of 12 terms. So therefore, A value 1 value I got it as 2. The sum of 12 terms I want means the formula is SN is equal to N by 2. A value I know. The last term that is A 12 also I know. I can use it. Then n value here 12. Your n value is 12. 12 by 2. A value 4. 12 term value is 37. Substitute and simplify. 2 ones are 2 six are. 6. 37 plus 4 is 41. Then multiply 6 ones are 6. 6 fours are 2 four six. Sum of 12 terms I got it 246. Copy down now. Once again, I am going to repeat third question. In third question, they gave first term value as 37 and d value as 3 and we have to find out a value and sum of 12 terms. So, to find out a, I can use the formula you should know. In this formula, we know the variable value this, this and this three variables. So I know. I can find out by using this formula A value. Substitute all the values for that given in your question. Simply find, then you get A value as 4. Then after getting the value of A, you will find out sum of A terms, that is sum of 12 terms, SL is equal to N by 2 into A plus AN. So substitute the value, N value 12, A value 4, I got it now, and the nth term, that is 12th term, term value is 37. Substitute and simply find, 2 1s are 2 6s are 6. 37 plus 4 is 41. Multiply, we get 246. So, therefore, sum of 12 terms is equal to 246. Children, copy down now. Copy down these two sums properly in your notebook. Okay, we will continue next. Next, we will continue. Fourth question in the screen. We give given third term is equal to 15. Sum of 10 terms is equal to 125 again. And find D and 10th term are find out. So, we have find out the 10th term of D means. I can write it as third term is equal to 15 as. I can write it third term A plus 2D is equal to 15. Call this an equation of a. One. And now we will consider what I gave in the question that is yes 10 is equal to 125. Yes 10 is equal to 125 and we use the formula that is n by 2 in place of yes 10. We know the value of this is 125. n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Substitute the values now. Yes, 10 is equal to n place, n place of 10 I have to 10. 10 by 2. 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d. I do the value of d also. So, q is simply find out 2 1s are 2 5s are 5 into 2a plus 9d is equal to 125. So, if I divide both the set by 5, 5 by 3 cancel. Divide both side by 5. So if I divide I get 2a plus 9d is equal to 125 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5 to the 5 ones are 125. 2a plus 9d is equal to 25. 
equation number so after simplification of this i got an equation as uh, that is linear equation of two variables here this is one the equation it has two variables that is a plus 2b is equal to 15 and after simplification of this i got after simplification i got another equation that is 2a plus 9b is equal to 25 So what I do is equation two and subtract equation one to get another variable then. So in equation two, in equation two, subtract equation one. So if I do it like this, first I am going to write equation two that is two a plus nine b is equal to thirty five. Then So equation one that is a plus two b is equal to fifteen. So subtract them. Change the sign. Then two a minus a is a plus minus plus nine minus two is seven b is equal to ten. So a plus seven b is equal to ten. I got it. Then I have to find out the value of a. D 
value also they told for us to find out. D value I got it minus 1 and A 10 that is 10th term of the CT I got it as 8. So once again can I explain now? So little this question pattern changes. Third term we gave 15. Yes, sum of 10 terms again want to define. So for this third term is equal to 15. Third term I can write it in the general form of an AP A plus 2D is equal to 15. You call this the equation number 1. So, so sum of 10 terms is equal to 195. What is the formula to find out sum of 10 terms? n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Sum of 10 terms to find out this is the formula is equal to 125. Substitute the values. We already had come to know a value 10. 10 by 2. 2a a value I don't know. n value 10 minus 1 d also I don't know. This is equal to 125. As it is uh, you substitute the values for the window and simplify now. 2 1s are 2 5s are 5 into 2 a plus 9 is equal to 125. Both the sides in 5 table these two numbers are close. So I can divide by 5 both the sides. So after dividing by 5 I get 2 a plus 9 is equal to 25. So 2 a plus 9 is equal to 25 you call this as equation number 2. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. So I combine by equation subtract in equation 2. In equation 2, you subtract equation 1. So if I subtract, and I will take out the variable means, I will multiply this first equation by 2 to make it one variable same and to eliminate that variable. So now I have multiplied this equation by 2, then I got it to a plus 4d is equal to 30. Then now the subtraction sign changes. When sign changes, plus 2a minus 2a get cancelled, plus 9 minus 4d is equal to 5d is equal to minus 5. D value of the simplification I got it as minus 1. Then after you get the value of D is equal to minus 1, this value can substitute in any one of the equation. So I substitute it in equation 1. That is A plus 2D is equal to 15. Then you will get our variable value that is A value as 17. After knowing the value of A and D, then easily I can find out 10th term of this AP. That is 10th term of this AP is equal to A plus 90. So A value substitute. D value substitute 10th term of this AP you got it as 8. So like this way, uh, the formula you have to remember and steps how to solve you have to remember. This type of question it comes since you have to follow the same steps, then you are going to get the value of the given value. So please children copy down in your notebook. Now I am going to solve fifth sum. Fifth sum question is given D value is equal to 5. S9 yes, sum of 9 terms is equal to 75. Find A and A9. 9 term of the CP and first term and find, find out. So when you answer this question, you want to know the sum of 9 terms is equal to 75 degree. By using that, I can write it. Yes, 9 is equal to 75. Sum of 9 terms, to find out sum of 9 terms, I can use the formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 75. Sum of 9 terms means n value becomes 9. So you know s n in place of n 9 is there. 9 by 2, 2a, a value I don't know. 9 if I substitute then it becomes 9 minus 1. d value I know that is 5. It is given in the question. So it substitute in the formula. Then after simplification it becomes 9 by 2 into 2a plus 8 5 is 14 is equal to 75. Then take 2 common in these 2. If I take 2 common in these 2 then it comes out. Then a plus 20 to 20 is 40 is equal to 75. 2 1s are 2 1s are cancel. Then a plus 20 is equal to 75 divided by 9. You divide both sides by 9, you will get like this way. So that it will simplify 3 3s are 3 2s are 3 5s are. So a plus 20 is equal to 25 by 3. A value 1 means A is equal 
4 do you take it that side 25 by 3 minus 20 take lcm no number means it is understood one to zero in the denominator then a value a is equal to 25 by 3 multiply by 3 that it becomes minus 60 by 3 so a value in 60 subtract 25 it becomes 10 minus 5 is 5 5 minus 3 is 3 minus 35 by 3 so a value i got it minus 35 by 3 so once again just you observe the question they gave b value and sum of nine terms they gave then your a value i got it minus 35 by 3 but they asked for us to find out after it in the value of a i D value they gave and sum of nine terms they gave. For this, I can use the formula x is equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. Substitute the given value and simplify. We get like this way. In these two terms, two I can keep as common because two two I can cancel and I will get four number here. Then I will get a plus twenty is equal to if I divide both the side by nine. Both the side if I divide by nine. Okay, and divide both the side by. Nine because to cancel nine that side, then it becomes a plus two t is equal to seventy five by nine. Means after cancellation it becomes twenty five by three. Then twenty put it into side it becomes minus twenty. So I can do the value of a means by taking LCM. It is in the form of fraction. So by taking LCM I can subtract both. Then a value I got it minus twenty five by three. So after getting the value of a, I got the value of one variable that four take out for us to find out. The next in ninth term. Formula which formula to use it? How to find out unknown values? 